I mean, we have sea level rise, we have storm surge, what we saw both of those with Hurricane Sandy on the East Coast. We have excessive heat waves that we're experiencing and have experienced just this past year in the Midwest and in California. We see wildfires, the season getting longer, the intensity of those fires increasing. There's drought. So all of these consequences that are related or exacerbated in some way by global warming and the carbon pollution that we're putting into the air, our communities are seeing them and are dealing with them on the ground. They're not waiting for Washington. And one of the things that we're doing at the Union of Concerned Scientists this year is trying to shine a spotlight on some of those local consequences so that we can build the, the political backing that our leaders in Washington will need to take action on this on a national scale.